Meet Arnold. He's already packed his stuff, fed his fish, and is ready to go on a top secret journey. Right in front of you is the new generation of the DeLorean. I've upgraded this Tesla so you can now travel not only to another city, but also to another year. 1986, for example. It worked! We're at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant just a few minutes before the disaster. Arnold, bring the camera. You're gonna shoot the explosion on it and I'll post the video on YouTube. I'd say at least 20 million views are guaranteed. Hmm, is the battery already dead? Put it on charge. It's a European outlet, doof knuckle. You need an adapter. Or I guess not already. So, it's all because of you. It doesn't matter. You need to get out of here fast. There's a power bank in the glove box. Plug it into the car. Damn it, it takes at least 60 seconds to charge. Get out the protective suit. Just by looking at the area, you'd never know that you're in a radiation zone. But in fact, the radiation here is cosmic. That's not quite what I expected. Maybe you swapped bags with someone. With radiation above 500 rentgens, your hair and nails fall out instantly. Your skin turns red, and all those diseases you've got get worse. But you're lucky, Arnold. You won't feel much pain because you'll fall into a coma in three, two, Oh, you're already out. This is due to the fact that the radiation here is 20,000 rentgens per hour, and this technology can't handle that onslaught. The battery should be enough to get you back to the year 2020. Go! What a trip that turned out to be. Hmm. You look like crap. Wait. Are you in a coma? Looking at you, you'd think you're dead, but you're still alive inside. In a coma, you're unable to respond to external stimuli. Because of this, you'll be the best K-pop fan. And you'll be able to listen to the same song on repeat for years. People can be in a coma from a few days to a dozen years. Edward Obara fell into a coma at the age of 16 and spent 42 years this way. According to patients, during a coma, they feel like some kind of matter. They wandered along long and damp corridors, mazes, went through complex mechanisms. The degree of a coma is determined by the Glasgow Coma Scale, where 15 points is clear consciousness and three points is brain death. Arnold, they're gonna turn off the machine! Wake up, uh -huh. and I promise no more experiments on you. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Come on, Arnie, you can do it. I never thought I'd say this, but you really had me worried. <gasps> me, Arnold, and it looks like he's hungry. Arnie, did you waste all your money on the online farm again? Okay, fine. Now you're gonna have to eat virtual food. By the way, did you know that Bill Gates is a McDonald's gold card holder? It gives you the right to eat there for free. And you obviously need it more than anyone else. Where to start? I suggest the special suicide burger from Burger King. It's got four patties, four slices of cheese, and bacon. 800 calories. And here comes the Mickey D's french fries. They contain 19 hidden ingredients. Arnold, eat! One burger patty can consist of parts from a hundred different cows at once. In total for the fast food industry, 50 million cows are butchered a year. Are you finished already? Then drink some soda. It's deliberately free here because it wets your appetite. Thankfully, to satisfy your urges, there are already 39,000 McDonald's open in 120 countries around the world. And in the UK, recycled oil from french fries even fuels trucks. Over the past 20 years, the number of overweight people in the world has tripled. You better stop, Arnold, because with a diet like this, you'll gain 10% of your body weight per month. And this will lead to... Arnold, stop!
up already! You now have type 2 diabetes, you're depressed, and your blood vessels are chock full of fat. And this could easily cause you to suffer a heart attack. Fast food is extremely high calorie and is practically devoid of vitamins and minerals. My advice, you need to urgently switch to healthy food cooked at home. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. There you go. Good for you, Arnold. How about I'm going to visit you for dinner tonight? Get up, doofwad. Bad weather doesn't justify taking a day off. What, you don't want to go to work? Then I suggest you work in bed. When NASA was studying how zero gravity impacts a person, they paid $18,000 to a volunteer to lie in a bed for 70 days. Just don't even think about getting up, Arnie. I hired a sniper who will terminate you at your very first try. You will eat, drink, and do everything else while lying down. See ya, buddy! Hey, did you get any sleep? How are you doing? I guess not so cool. It looks like you're gaining weight. All the energy that comes from the food you eat isn't going anywhere. But bed sores, that's bad. Due to high blood pressure, blood stops flowing to the skin. Hold on, old sport. Good news, Arnold. You're close to the record set by Soviet scientists 370 days in bed. Yeah, you don't look so hot. Every day you're losing 5% of your muscle mass. On top of that, your bones are also damaged. And due to your lack of mobility, your bones don't repair and they quickly start deteriorating. And paradoxically, falling asleep lying down becomes impossible. Without a shift in activity, the brain doesn't know what time of day it is or when it's time to sleep. But this does have its perks. You can watch all your favorite shows over and over again. I'll leave you here now. Enjoy the show, Arnold. Oh my god, Arnold! What did you do to yourself? I wasn't serious about the sniper. It's really not good to lie down so much. Arnold, you could sleep through your whole life. Get up already. People sleep for one third of their lives. During sleep, the body is restoring. Some species of birds, marine mammals, and reptiles can stay awake for up to 10 days. One half of their brain is asleep while the other one is working. In order not to waste time, streamer Asian Andy slept online and earned $16,000 in one night from donations. I think someone's breaking into your house, Arnold. Arnold, who are these guys? They don't seem anything like your friends. Congratulations, Arnie. Somehow you've gotten yourself into what looks like pretty big trouble. Again. What the jumping Jiminy is this place? Looks like a college dormitory at not the best university. Wow, Arnold. Looks like you could be a superstar in a new reality series. How on earth did they get a file on all of you guys? Whoopsie daisy, I guess they got you here by mistake. What do they want from all of you? Uh-oh, I don't like this at all. Arnold, haven't you been able to sleep? A day without sleep leads to headaches. Your hearing becomes noisy and difficult. And your memory becomes impaired. Believe that on average, a person can endure no more than five days without sleep. That's when the real oh. test begins. Oh. Optical and hallucinations oh. begin to appear. The first to set a no sleep world record was 17 year old Randy Gardner, who stayed up for 11 days. But this was later beaten by Robert McDonald, who stayed awake for 19 days. But the representatives of the Guinness Book didn't confirm it. And conducting such kind of experiments on yourself is quite dangerous for your health. You're the only one left, Arnie old pal. I'm reminded of one legend about Soviet scientists. They put five people in a room for 15 days with a stimulant gas that kept them all awake. Arnold, you're free! I can imagine you probably want to go home and have a good night's sleep. But it seems that you need 30 more days without sleep to get to the nearest town. Well, good luck, Arnold.
You're not going to make it to the hospital. Your heart could stop. You need an emergency <laughs> blood transfusion to maintain pressure in your circulatory system. During the Vietnam War, coconut IVs were sometimes used to treat the wounded. Amazingly, coconut water is quite similar to human blood plasma. So what do we have? Cola. Okay, let's get to work. But first, you need to get rid of all the gas. If the gas contained in the drink gets inside your blood vessels, it'll literally tear you apart from the inside. Cola contains sugar, glucose. This is a perfect source of fast energy and allows you to really perk up. It seems to have worked. The cola has taken root in your body. But your appearance has changed just a little, buddy. Even your hair has changed color. But on the other hand, you'll be a most welcome guest at any children's party. With so much caffeine in the cola running through your veins, you only have to sleep once every three days. Now, you have much more time than regular people. After all, even professional athletes drink cola for a quick dose of energy. And you can always get a refill at the nearest supermarket. No, stop, you kamikaze nutball. Just one single Mentos could turn you into a surface-to-air missile. Don't worry, it won't ruin your day. Cola even helps combat mild depression. But to be honest, Arnold, cola in your blood is actually deadly. Your eyes, kidneys, nerves, and heart suffer the most. Yeah, looks like cola's not an option. I see the late night beer bash is a big success. But don't forget, in the morning, you got a conference of below 60 IQ YouTubers. And if you're late, your career is toast. There's no time for the toilet. You gotta hold it, buddy. The bladder comfortably holds 150 to 200 milliliters of fluid. But after 400 to 500 milliliters, you'll feel some pressure. You must have drunk a lot. Eee, looks like the boss is in a bad mood. And for sure, he ain't gonna let anyone take bathroom breaks. Fluid is absorbed into the kidneys, then descends through the ureter into the bladder. You're probably feeling a bit stressed, Arno, because now you got to hold the pee in with your muscles. I recommend you don't laugh, Arnold, or sneeze, or cough. Anything like that weakens the muscles, and you might start leaking. Hooray! Break time! You're saved! The average person goes tinkle six to eight times a day. Ooh, no luck there, Arnold. In ancient times, rules of decency allowed people to go wee-wee in public, and the division of toilets into men's and ladies only occurred in 1792. Okay, break's over, buddy. Now it's your turn to give your presentation. If you hold it in for a long time, the bladder walls can stretch, so you can hold even more PP. But this can be dangerous. Bacteria and acids in your urine can crawl back up into your kidneys, causing cystitis and pyelonephritis. It seems, Arnold, that everyone approves of your dissatisfaction with company policy. Come on, Arnold. I know you can hold it a little longer. Just 50 more talks and then you're free. Well, that's it. Time to go home. And Arnold, I advise you not to make any sudden movements. If your bladder is that full, it could pop. Yay, you're almost home. Now we just have to get through the morning rush hour. Move slowly. Oh, no. It seems your neighbor's coming, Arnold. You know, the guy who likes to give everyone a big hug when they meet. Hey, Arnie, now you'll be eating only raw meat like a carnivore. Can you feel how quickly your levels of adrenaline and aggression are rising? Of course, it'll be a little difficult for you to chew, as human teeth aren't adapted to eating raw meat. Better cut it into small pieces, like the ancient Mongols did. In fact, the most famous dish made of raw meat, steak tartare, is named after them. Without cereals, vegetables, and fruits, the flow of glucose, which is fuel for your body, will stop. Your liver will start to process its fat stores to meet your body's energy needs, and you'll start to lose weight, up to five kilograms a week. 
your muscles will start to dehydrate and dry out. That's why a meat diet is so popular among Hollywood celebrities and supermodels. Cholesterol levels in your blood will go up and, well, let's face it, you'll be at increased risk of heart disease. Amino acids will fill your intestines and they'll mix with bacteria from your skin and that will lead to a super grungy body odor. Raw meat does contain some dangerous microorganisms such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. And they can cause you to suffer from diarrhea, vomiting, and just general old heaviness in your stomach. But when your body finally adapts to such food, you'll feel a surge in energy and physical strength. The reason for this is increased testosterone and vitamin D levels. Even Bruce Lee himself, when preparing for fights, liked to have a tall glass of yummy fresh meat smoothie. Our ancient ancestors used to eat raw meat, but their lives changed forever when they figured out how to use fire and began cooking. That cut by two-thirds the time needed for digestion. So energy use moved from the stomach to the brain, and this triggered a cognitive revolution. Humans began to use much more abstract thinking and developed complex languages. And as a result, modern civilization developed. So eat, my dear Arnold, oh. eat! <laughs> What's that? A contract? Have you already been cast in something? Take your time, Arnold, and read through that carefully before signing. I'm thinking you could make some money renting out that big empty space between your ears. What do you think, Arnold? That space inside your big red head is so empty, I think we could store my grampy's old motorcycle in there. Arnold, for this role, it looks like you're gonna have to triple your weight. Actors, in order to get as close to a role as possible, often have to gain or lose weight in a very very short period of time. Christian Bale from 2008 to 2013 had to lose weight nine times and also had to gain as much as 30 kilograms. That's 66 pounds. To quickly make progress gaining weight, use a bigger plate. That way, big portions will look smaller. <gasps> Add in lots of snacks, Arnold, like dried fruits, nuts, and peanut butter sandwiches. And don't forget about desserts. Arnold, it looks like gaining weight is your secret talent. You're really good at this. Well, soon you'll be ready to play the lead role. You're gonna be a star. So that's why they needed an actor with such a tremendous weight? Too bad, Arnie. Looks like all your effort was in vain. And your pay ain't even enough to get you home. So you decided to go on foot, did you, Arnold? Hey, Arnold, are you okay? Due to all the extra weight, your bones are under enormous stress. We need to calculate your body mass index. At 60 inches and 206 pounds, your BMI is higher than 40, and that's class three obesity, buddy. You need some serious help. Here, call this number. My friends are gonna take you to a special place. Here, in just a few minutes, all the excess fat is gonna be pumped out of you. Yeah. Uh, you look amazing. Oh, no. Meh, the saggy mm -hmm. skin will help remind you not to make stupid oh. choices in the future. And as for all your pumped out fat, on the black market, some cosmetics companies are willing to pay up to $15,000 for just 2.2 pounds of the stuff. So, Arnold, go on back home. Get dressed, Arnie, because with a body like yours, we could lose our entire female audience. Looking for similarities between you and Schwarzenegger. You have one at least, and that's your names. You're gonna have to start working out if you want to have a body like his. And also give up on your usual diet. Or do you maybe have some other options? Arnold, are you serious? Steroids? First off, it's illegal. And secondly, I repeat this, it's illegal. 
Muscles consisting of protein compounds are built up due to micro tears, which are restored within a few days and make the muscles stronger and larger. Steroids are substances that, once inside the body, are converted into hormones that double the recovery process, while at the same time drastically increasing muscle volume. After taking so much testosterone, irreversible processes begin in the body. You'll see an increase in acne, a decrease in testicle size, and unwarranted aggression. Although, I will know what caused it and why. Don't worry, Arnold. At least you'll have something else big. It seems this wannabe treatment is made just for lazy people like you. In fact, using steroids means you don't even have to exercise in order to gain weight. Of course, consuming so much testosterone will increase your libido. You'll want more physical attention almost immediately. Hey, Arnold, come on. That's just too much. So, you decided to upload your photos to a dating app. Congratulations, you got a match. Judging by her photos, you have a lot in common. How are you going to surprise her on your first date? Great, Arnold. You two are definitely made for each other. Good morning, Arnold. I see you didn't wake up alone. What? Are you scared, Arnold? I forgot to tell you, testosterone affects women in its own special way. They get facial hair like men, and their voice becomes deeper and rougher. But don't rush out like that. It's dangerous, because your heart is not as good as it used to be. Now you can easily have a heart attack. What happened? Did you just get fired from McDonald's? Don't worry, every person is talented at something. For example, heard of a guy from China who got into the Guinness Book of Records because he didn't blink for 57 minutes. Hey, where did you go? Arnold! What? You broke the record? How? You glued your eyelids! Oh my god, it's really dangerous! Blinking is necessary to lubricate your eyes with moisture. Our lacrimal glands contain antibodies, lysozymes, and electrolytes. Without them, your eyes will become defenseless. So, I'm afraid you won't be able to admire your literacy for long. The smallest particles in the air will begin to settle on the eyes and scratch them. In addition, the longer you don't blink, the more you want to. Arnold, there is one secret. Blinking has another function. It shares the information you receive and renews your attention. This means that the more interesting stuff you see is, the less you want to blink. Try to distract yourself with something calming. Yes, I think a good old black and white movie will do. There are three types of tears, reflex, emotional, and basal. Because your eyes are dry, the tear glands are trying to make up for the lack of moisture. But the movie isn't bad either. Oh no. Who knew the film would have a nuclear explosion in it? Arnold, how do you feel? Bright light hurts you. Your vision gets worse. These are signs of conjunctivitis. It needs to be treated properly. It sure won't go away by itself. Be careful when reading the drug instructions, Arnold. With vision of plus five, it's very difficult to read up close. But with myopia at negative five, you'll have problems with viewing objects in the distance. Ladies, stop it! He didn't see anything! Arnold! Arnold! Wake up! Looks like you got beat up by the pharmacy security and you lost all your belongings. I wouldn't stay in such unsanitary conditions for long. Don't have the strength to go. Eerie similarity to the symptoms of adenoviral conjunctivitis. This happens when the retina is torn and the virus penetrates through it. Arnold, get up! You'll develop abscesses and retinal detachment, and you can go blind forever. You see these halos of light around? Thank God, it looks like someone called the ambulance. What's wrong again? Arnold, these are not ghosts, they're doctors. Stop, you can't hide in this cornfield. After all, it's drawn. Damn. It seems like Arnold is in trouble. Good morning, Arnold. 
I see that your day got off to a rocky start. I never thought I'd say this, but I feel sorry for you, Arnold. And I know someone who can help. Dr. Joe has a secret formula that can reduce any pain. But you redheads need more anesthesia than ordinary people. This is due to a gene that gives you your red hair color. Our bodies are made up of a huge number of cells. In order for them to interact, there are special proteins in the cell cell membrane, ion channels. Ion channels are something like gates for the senses. Thanks to them, we can feel warm and cold, smell and taste, and also experience pain. You can eat plenty of chocolate, Arnold. It's scientifically proven that chocolate can cause headaches. Perhaps, Arnold, this defect suits you, since you'll never have to feel the physical pain that I have to inflict on you. But don't celebrate just yet, buddy. Pain can also be emotional. So hold on. For example, unrequited love. This type of pain is experienced by people who sold their Bitcoin in 2015. Arnie, friend, cheer up. You don't feel pain and this can help emphasize your individuality. For example, you can insert a diamond into your forehead, just like the famous rapper Lil Uzi Vert. There are some people in the world who don't feel any pain at all. This is a consequence of a defect in the SCN9A gene. Such people can distinguish cold and hot. They feel touch, but the pain signals don't come through. Arnold, are you really gonna beat up Tagai's boyfriend for that kiss? Remember, Arnold, not feeling pain doesn't mean that you're immortal. You need to go to the hospital immediately. I see, you're still the same lazy guy. So while you don't feel pain, even ordinary tape will do. Oops, it looks like the effect of Dr. Joe's drug is over. Arnold. Arnold, wake up, I have a surprise for you. Of course, you know I'm your ally in battling your social phobia. I've decided to help you by moving you further away from people, specifically to the top of Mount Everest. The mountain's other name is Chomolungma, and it's the highest point on planet Earth. By the way, just saying, but you owe me $50,000. This is the average price for an expedition up here. To survive at the top, you need top-level equipment. After all, there's very little oxygen, and it's extremely cold. Go down, quickly, at least a kilometer. Hurry up, Arnold, but move as slowly as possible. Oxygen is only one-third the normal here. Try to save your energy. Lack of air causes the brain to misperceive time. Crawling five meters in three hours sounds a little too slow to me. Fortunately, the wind at the top reaches 200 meters per second, and it can help us. You can fly eight kilometers in just three minutes. But be careful, the ledges may get in your way. Lucky you, you fell into the trash. Everest tourists leave so much garbage on the mountain that the government pays $2 for every kilogram of garbage collected. I see you're trying to pay me my $50,000 back. Arnold, try not to breathe so much. At a temperature of minus 60 degrees Celsius, your lungs will begin to dry out. Mountain coughs are so bad they can even break your ribs. I'm sorry, Arnold, but climbers can't remove corpses from Mount Everest. It's impossible. Moreover, corpses are used as height markers for mountain peaks. Well, Arnold, at least you found something useful to do. I see you're really happy to be here, buddy, especially after such fiercely cold conditions. Uh, I think perhaps you're enjoying it a little too much. Hello, Arnold. It looks like you started hallucinating from a lack of oxygen, and someone brought you to the campfire. I'm glad that you woke up, but there are still six kilometers ahead of us. Unfortunately, I don't think you have the strength left to reach home. But wait, Arnold, I have an idea. You can repeat the feat of Marco Sifredi. In 2001, he descended Mount Everest on a snowboard. I believe in you, Arnold. Multiple broken bones and the last stages of frostbite. But we reached the Earth! Arnold, it's unbelievable! Come on, shout with me. Hooray! Yeah. 
<laughs> Arnold, I was just kidding. You can't scream in the mountains. It can trigger an avalanche. Don't worry, Arnold. I'm not going to leave you here. You still owe me $50,000.